Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial on Snowflake. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create database and the tables. First, first understand why we need to create database and tables. So as we know the Snowflake is a data warehouse. So it need to use the data from the persistent layer. And that persistent layer nothing but our databases. So these databases are no other like the relational database. So as we know the Oracle or SQL, SQL Server, these are the kind of relational databases. Snowflake do not use any underlying databases. So it uses its own database structure. And for that reason, we need to create a database. And within that database, we will have the schema. And within the schema, we can create tables. So once we create those tables, we can load the data in the in those tables so that we can perform the computational operations. So what are the overall steps involved during this data load process? As we mentioned, the very first step we need to complete is nothing but creating database and required tables. Once we create the database and table, then we need to prepare the data and that is nothing but the creating the external stage. We cannot directly load the data from your local system to this tables which present in Snowflake. So there is particular process we need to follow and that is nothing but the external stage. We'll see that how to create those external stage process. Once we create that external stage process, then we have to create data file format. So that is another important step involved during the data load process. And then finally we perform the data load operation. In this lecture, we are going to focus only on the very first step that is creating database and the tables. In our upcoming lectures, we are going to see how to create the external stage, how to create the file format for the data and how to perform the data load operation. So let's go ahead and create the database and table. So in order to create the database, we have logged into the Snowflake website or Snowflake instance. Here we can see we are at the very landing page of this screen. So in order to create the database, go to the databases and in this screen we can create the multiple databases. There are already existing databases if you are using the trial version of the, uh, the instance. We have the option to clone it. You can select one of the database and clone it. You can drop it as well as you can transfer the ownership. As this is completely new database, we'll use the option create. Here we just need to provide the name of the database. We'll use the name as city bytes. One important thing about this particular data set, this data set is already provided as a part of BEMO by Snowflake. We are going to use that data set. You can use any name to this database. There is no mandatory to use this particular name. If you want to use any other like sample or test, anything you can use. But for simplicity, I'm using the city bike as a name to this database. And the other thing is we are going to use the data which is provided by Snowflake for the demo purpose. Of course, we can provide the uh, comment to this database. I will mention as a sample database as a comment. As you know, if you want to see the what underline SQL getting executed, you can click on the show SQL and it will show that details. I'll close it for now and click finish. So step is very simple. Just click on the create a databases option and provide the name of the database and this will create a database for us. Now once we create the database, the next option or next thing is nothing but the creating tables. For that we have to select the particular database. I am going to select the city bytes database. And here we can create the tables. So there are multiple options available. You can create the table. You can create using like operation. You can clone the existing table if it is already there one. Then you can load the data. You can drop the table. You can transfer the ownership on that table. Apart from that, there are several other tabs available. We have the views tab to view all the 
existing tables. We have the schemas option, the given table under which schema it is coming. Then we have the stages option, which we are going to see in detail in our upcoming uh, tutorial. Then the file format, this is again a next option to see. Then sequences and the pipes. If we have the continuously loading data, then we have to use this pipes. But we are not going to do that, it will be one time load. So we'll see how to leverage the stages and file format option and then load the data. So before jumping all those steps, let's go ahead and first create the table. There are two ways by which you can create the table. Either you can come to this user interface and click on create table option. Here you can provide the name of table. You can select the appropriate schema and you can provide the comment and then add the column one by one. This is more tedious process. Normally in real time, this is going to take a long time if you have the multiple tables with multiple columns. So the other option is you can use the worksheet to create the tables. You can just write your SQL statement and you can execute it. So it is same as the create table option which you can use in your relational database such as Oracle or SQL Server. Now to write that query there is particular syntax comes with a snowflake. We'll learn about those commands how to prepare those queries but for this demo I have already uh, made one SQL ready create or replace table then you can provide the name of table here we are using the table name as a trips and then it has a column name and it's a data type so in this case trip duration is a column name and integer it's a data type so similarly we have prepared the the sql you can copy that and we'll go ahead and paste in our work uh, worksheet now what I'll do for your reference, I will share this SQL statements throughout whatever we are going to use in this tutorial and upcoming tutorial in each of these YouTube videos as well as I will put those on my website so you can directly reach there and you will have the consolidated version of the all the SQLs. These SQLs are not exactly same as the one which comes with a snowflake so I will modify as per the need uh, to give the more details of the snowflake tool. Now, in order to execute this DDL statement, we can select this DDL statement and click on the run button. Or the second option is select that uh, DDL statement and use a control enter button. So this will give us a dialog message asking that whether you really want to execute this statement. There are a couple of things to remember. Whenever we execute any SQL in Snowflake, we have to think about whether it's going to cost to a business or cost to us or not. So what does it mean? So whenever we execute any select star from given table, that means we are doing some computation. And whenever there is computation involved, the underline, the virtual warehouse will be used and which will internally cost some money to us. As this is trial version, it is not going to cost any money to us. But in real time, we need to think about that. The second point is, this DDL statements are free. Means even you use this DDL statements in your real time project, there will not be money involved or there will not cost the money. So you can create n number of tab uh, n number of tables or n number of databases because these are the DDL statement and DDL statements comes free. Now we understood this thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and execute this DDL statement to create the table for that what we'll do we'll select the data warehouse that is compute warehouse which is comes default in our trial version of the snowflake then you can select the database i'm going to use the database city bike and let me keep the schema as a public in case you want to use any other schema you can select that once you select all the databases and schema and warehouse this SQL is ready to get executed. So I'll click on this run button and let's go ahead and run it. If everything is good, then we will get a message table trips successfully created in the result section. Now, how can you verify whether this is really got created or not? For that, what you have to do, go to the databases. And if you go to the 
main screen you will see this databases select the database one which you are created and under this you will able to see the table so this is the table which is published and owner is this admin and you want to see the columns then in that case click on this table it will show us all the columns it's a data type and the other properties such as whether it's nullable or not and if you had any default value so this way we can create the database and the table in the next lecture we are going to see how to stage the or how to create the external stages for preparing the data if you like this video kindly subscribe this channel thank you for watching this video and have a nice time